Good morning everyone, this is Harald Ambos Pissuros, Senior Analyst at IronFX, bringing you the morning comment for the 29th of uh, November. Oil prices gain as Iraq pledges to cooperate with uh, OPEC. Investors have begun to turn their attention to the much-anticipated OPEC meeting scheduled for tomorrow, something evident by the reaction of oil prices on uh, the gathering-related uh, headlines. Yesterday, prices climbed higher following key comments by the Iraqi oil minister that the country will cooperate with OPEC nations to reach an agreement acceptable to all. Given that the OPEC meeting has not even commenced yet, we expect WTI to be driven almost entirely by, f by fresh headlines regarding the likelihood uh, for a deal, at least until a finalized uh, outcome is announced. In this respect, the currencies of major oil, uh, oil exporting nations, uh, like the Canadian dollar and the, Nor the Norwegian crown, may trade in a similar fashion. As far as a meaningful agreement is concerned at the end of this OPEC meeting, we stick to our guns uh, that the bar remains high. The members would now have to cut their, their output by more than agreed in Algiers, given that they are currently producing at higher levels than they were back then. What's more, in order to trust a sustained rally in oil prices, we believe that uh, any cut deal would have to be accompanied by strict country-specific quotas and a mechanism to ensure that such quotas are, are uh, upheld, considering uh, the cartel's uh, lengthy history of uh, violating its agreed quotas. If these conditions are met and, uh, and managed to push WTI prices above $52 per barrel, then a forthcoming higher high will be confirmed on the daily chart, and as such, we will consider the medium-term outlook to have turned back to the upside. As for today, during the European day, we get Germany's preliminary CPI data for November, just one day ahead of Eurozone sprint. The forecast is for German CPI rate to have uh, risen, something that could raise speculation that the block sprint may follow suit, and thereby support the euro. In France and Sweden, GDP data for the third quarter are due to be released. In the US, the second estimate of uh, quarter three GDP is coming out. The forecast is, is for the nation's uh, growth rate to be revised up to 3% quarter over quarter from the first estimate of 2.9%. Uh, Given that the first estimate of uh, GDP is compiled via, via the output approach, while the second one derives from the expenditure calculation, it would be interesting to see whether demand held up, especially given the notable upward revision in retail sales for September. A modest upward revision in the nation's GDP could prove positive uh, for the dollar, at least at uh, the release. The second estimate of the core PC deflator for the third, for the third quarter, the Fed's uh, favorite inflation measure, and the conference of board consumer confidence index for November are both coming out as well. We have only one speaker scheduled for today, New York Fed President William Dudley. For more information, including technical analysis, please read the full comment on ironfx.com or download our app and get all the information you need to trade. Also, you can follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or circle us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Harald Ambos Pissuros, Senior Analyst at IronFX, wishing you solid trading.